go and finish what's left. Cavalry is nearing their general. And they really don't have any units left. So let's just kill this guy. And must rest a while. Just need to kill the general. Ugh, he's gonna get away. Whoever he is, which one? A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. All right, now we can rest. like all of them. Awesome. To end the battle. Heroic victory. I'll see you guys on the campaign map. Alright. So they lost more than twice as many men as we did. Wow, we killed a lot. Um. So. That was a really good battle. We still have over 1,500 remaining. And once we take Moscow, we'll be able to recuperate over there. And it'll be fine. So I don't know, really know why they're attacking here. Because they're idiots. But anyway. We won. And now I just have to go get Königsberg back. And then I'll take Moscow. Actually, no, then I'll take some other things. And then I'll take Moscow. Because I'm expecting them to do peace then. And they want peace when it's I have all the other things that I want. Still not completely in my favor. Try auto resolving it. All right, let's try auto resolving. And victory. Alright. Pretty good. I mean, we lost... Well, we still killed a lot more than we lost. So, awesome. We'll just... Stay here for a while. Until we can heal back up all the way. Actually... I think there's a higher replenishment rate in Brandenburg, so let's just go over there. And let's take this city. And I wonder if the Ottomans will come help me. No, but it doesn't matter.
En avant Marchez All right. Now should I take Moscow or not? I don't know. Yeah, why not? I mean, like, I don't want to build up more stuff while I'm waiting. So, here it goes. I'm not actually going to fight it out because, I mean, it's just against armed citizenry. The real battle for Moscow already happened. Victoire! Yeah. said we could not win. What difference, they ask, could one man make? Every difference, I replied, if that man is Napoleon. Napoleon watched their cities fall. He expected victory, nothing less would do. Victory came because he willed it. Napoleon's will, Napoleon's ambition set a match to the kindling of the world. All right. So I'll read this to you guys, I guess. Um, so ends the March on Moscow. Mon Emperor however you pronounce that, French. Uh, in the face of great adversity, you have guided the grand... Ugh, damn it. You know what I'm talking about. Ah, to the easternmost extremes of Europe, and in, and in so doing, conquered the heart of one of her last great empires. As the cold winds blow through the desolate streets of the fallen city, but one question remains. What lies in store for Napoleon Bonaparte and his mighty French empire now? So, all right. I guess that is, um, we win. Um, you know, I guess the question of what lies in store for the British Empire is never answered, but, um, yeah, we win the campaign. Good job. So now, um, let's see. I won't have it in this video, but in my, uh, I'll make it, I'll make maybe a vlog on it. And I will have you guys vote officially this time for what I do next. I would like to play Victoria too. Um, for you guys who don't know what that game is, please look into it. It's really fun. Um, but some people have said they wanted me to finish my original French campaign in Empire Total War, so I could do that too. Probably, I think Victoria 2 would be more fun. Um, we could get some wider variety of gamers watching my videos rather than just Total War. So I'd like to move the channel to sort of a new series of games, I guess. But um, it's okay if we just do more Empire Total War for now. But thank you for watching my Napoleon Total War campaign. And I'll see you guys next in the vlog and then with whatever campaign I do after that. So thanks for watching.